Okay, I just thought I'd do a quick video here. Hey, that's Diesel. My 10 year old chocolate lab. He rode with me in the harvester from 8 weeks old until about 5 or 6. Um, I started worrying about his uh, legs and hips uh, going bad on him from being in the harvester. There really wasn't a lot of room for an 85 pound dog. And he's got epilepsy, so he's on a lot of medication. So I dropped him off to what you'd call doggy daycare in the morning when I go to work. So that's Diesel. He says hi. And here I am sharpening chain right now. And the knob on the very bottom, the big knob, that you'll see me uh, loosen up. And I will angle that to the right and left cutting teeth. So you can see I did it right here. So I, I moved that to the right angle, which is 30 degrees for, this is 11 BC, three quarter pitch chain. That knob in the back sets the depth that I will take off with the grinding wheel. And the knob on the side, that's the stopper that goes behind the tooth. Um, I just have to adjust it when I change sides because it's tapered on one side and it won't quite quite hold the back of the tooth correctly. And that allows you to set the, that's what holds it at the right depth. Um, and that's a carbide uh, diamond coated uh, steel blade. This is an Oregon grinder. They come with uh, stones or, you know, I'm not exactly sure what they're made out of, but it's like a paint colored uh, stone. And the only problem with those is, is that they have another stone that you clean them with. They'll get black and they kind of get clogged up and they won't cut good. So you have to keep cleaning them, which constantly changes the shape, the shape of the stone. So it changes uh, the way that you're grinding the um, tooth a little bit. Every time you mess with it, you have to constantly set uh, the, the depth. Uh, that you're grinding down and the small knob on the back so it, it never really makes an even um, sharpen on the teeth or the chain especially if you get a chain that's been rocked or dulled a little hard but I always hated those things and um, those were like 20 bucks a piece for those and I had always looked at these uh, carbon you know diamond plated steel grinding wheels and they're like a hundred and I don't know a hundred hundred and fifty dollars and I never bought one and then I uh, bought one last year and it is nice because the shape of that cutting wheel stays the same all the time I don't know what's going on here my computer's making the same noise I don't know where I left off there um, my uh, computer was making some really funny noises. Okay, I think it's back to normal now. Anyways, I... Basically, that grinding wheel uh, is just very nice because it, it maintains the exact same shape of the tooth on every tooth, right and left. So it just cuts a lot better and a lot smoother. So it's worth the extra money. And... Um, it, it, it just uh, saves a lot of time too. So that's that and uh, like and subscribe, um, share, rate. Um, I'd appreciate that. And I just thought I'd put that out there. We'll catch you later.